Well, as promised, we are back at the cellar hole I found by chance, the old home site where I dug the Massachusetts 3rd Regiment button from the American Revolution. What a find. And like I said in that video, we needed to come back and clean some brush. So, I got my gloves. Most of that looks like pine. I don't want to deal with the pitch, obviously. And although it was it was kind of quiet, we didn't find a, a you know a massive amount of stuff. Just finding the site is amazing. But right here on this side of the cellar, and over there on that side of the cellar, this stuff needs to go. And I've done this in the past before. I could spend all the time cleaning this and there's absolutely nothing else underneath it. But we have to try, right? Right. That's one side. I guess that's good enough for now. All right, let's give it a go. And nothing. Let's try this side. And nothing. That's all right, had to be done. Both sides, edge of where the house was, so it had to be done. Now we're gonna move around the yard a little bit. Before I do, I wanted to share with you guys. So when I walked in today, out yesterday, I just spread myself a little bit further and I realized that right up in there, you can pretty much see the ridge line. George and I walked up there. We missed this by maybe less than 100 feet, which is remarkable but understandable when you're navigating through the woods like this and you're trying not to roll ankles, hang your eyeballs on anything. You can miss looking down into, you know, we are, we're down off the side of the hill here. So this place is still blowing my mind. Might be a nail, but we shall check because it's all that's left. Nail signals. Guess we did a good job the other day, huh? Nails. Okay, plan B which was plan A the other day. Go up into the square, look around for good ground, and potentially make it to the cellar we were aiming for the other day. So this is the up in the square, good stretch of ground. Looks nice, doesn't it? Westerly wall that way, good strip. And then over there it just gets it's rough, but we are slowly creeping our way to the cellar hole. I think I'll start swinging here. On my way. Well, I swung as long as I could until it turns back into this stuff. And that's what's funny about this square. Like I said the other day, it's, it's huge. And the home site was buried in all these little dips and hills and crazy. Pretty sure I'm going the right direction though. Definitely taking the scenic route today because I haven't been over this part. Yeah, you never know what's hidden out here. I think that's it in there. See what I mean? So this is a logging rut road. And this is how you can simply miss these things. 
by feet or come up short because that's not the logging rut you're looking for. Boy, that was convincing. And this logging rut, bingo. All right, we made it. So again, I had finally found this one last year. I've only been here once. It was like a hundred degrees. Found a few things. Confidence is low on the return trip, but I had to come back. All right, let's give this one a go. Oh, I actually have a signal within a couple minutes. Kind of all over the place. If I remember right, behind you guys, I found a cuff link. This kind of was tickling in that range. Wouldn't that be something to find the other? Oh, anything will be good. Wow. Who called that? There it is. The other cuff link. Unreal. <laughs> well, that happens every now and then, right? Oh, that just made my day. If that's all I find. I'll be content, but let's see what else is here. It's time to take a walk around. These early settler sites are all so similar. Just a little hole in the ground, not even rock lined, little chimney stack, only a few things around it, little bit of iron, and in a massive square. It's almost bizarre. And very difficult to make heads or tails over what they were doing where because of the texture. And there's no stacked rocks anywhere literally nowhere except for the chimney stack and the walls that surround us as well no barn that i found yet no well it's almost textbook for the era mid 1700s all right we're going over there well that's the end of the travel to the north that is an ocean of grow back from logging Within 10 years, you wouldn't be able to walk through that. Well, not very comfortably. Wow. Pretty big too. All right, back through that. I had the option of taking the safer straight route back but I'm out here to see what's in this square so that's what we're doing we're essentially gonna cut straight down the middle see what's along the way and always keep in mind as you're watching this footage and landscape we're inside someone's old colonial farm property that they probably spent who knows how many years walling off. I don't know how they did it. And my house, more like why. Wow. And this is what we keep running through is logging ruts. They kind of did a selective cut in here, which is good by not stripping at all. Can't be good. Yeah. Massive piece of lead. Projectile. Shotgun Willie. No surprise there. Willie. Can't go anywhere without finding that. Well, as you can see, I have made it to the end. 
and I got to see a little bit more of this area. We had to go back to the first site and clean it. That had to be done and I had to make it back to the second site and the cufflink. Awesome. I'm very happy about that. All right, see you soon.